everyone, it's Nicole. I'm here today for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. Today we are going to create patterns using stamps. So we're going to make three cards using the same set of stamps in different ways to create patterns on your card bases. So the first way here, I'm going to use this yellow ink from Close to My Heart and this really pretty stamp from Concord and Ninth. And I'm just going to add it to the top and the bottom corners of the card base. I'm using a smooth white cardstock from Gina K. It stamps really, really nicely on there. And I'm just going to use the larger stamp here. And then you can see just the smaller little swirl floral stamp. Then I'm going to add in another color. I'm going to use this leaf pattern here. And I'm just going to add this spring leaf color from Close to My Heart also. And add a little bit of that pretty green ink. Now I have to decide what I want to do with the rest of this card. So I have the word hope and I've decided I'm going to use that on all three of the card samples I'm going to make today. And so I'm going to stamp it on this die cut um, square that I've cut out already ahead of time. This is on texture cardstock. I just kind of like the look of texture cardstock. Stamping on it isn't the same. You won't get the same result as on smooth, so just be aware of that. Um, but I really like this die set. It's also from Gina K. It has a nice stitched, faux stitched edge around the edge. So I'm just going to use that. And then on its own it looks kind of nice, but I thought I would take those same stamps again and just repeat the pattern up onto that uh, nested square card. So I'm going to take those same stamps that I used to create the background and I'm going to stamp them here onto the corner and the top edge again of that die cut frame. And I'm going to add a little bit of the green too just to kind of tie that in also. And then I'm going to take this whole thing and just pop it up onto the front of the card. And you can kind of see that creates that effect where the background is now onto that middle um, sentiment piece. So I kind of like that. It turned out kind of nice. Super easy. Uh, and at this point, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep it pretty simple and add some of these really fun sprinkles from our friends at Doodlebug. I love that you get three shades of colors on one sleeve of the sprinkles. I'm going to create a background design in a framed area. I'm going to use a scrap of cardstock I have left over from cutting that frame shape for the sentiment on the first card. And then you can see here I've just used some thermal web purple tape to tape that in place over the top of my card front. And I'm just using some of those floral circle um, shapes again. And I'm going to stamp in the pink color this time. I think this one's called Pixie. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the pink and then add in some more of those really pretty green leaves just to get a little bit more color and to fill in that area. So I'm going to start with this bottom corner of the framed area and kind of build around that. I started with the large circle first, then the medium, and then I worked my way into the smaller items. And so I'm going to take an alternate stamp that I have from my stash. This one's from Altenu and just this really pretty like leafy um, icon. I'm going to use that just to add a darker green even and then a tiny little red ink flower outline stamp as well from Altenew. And now I have my hope again and I'm just going to stamp this time underneath the area that I framed off and stamped. So I'm just going to add this quickly to my background and then I'm going to stamp that on there. Had I been a little bit smarter I probably would have created my frame shape down in the bottom of the corner and stamped my sentiment on the top. And I kind of thought there was just too much empty space so I decided to put that frame back on there again and then create a squared in area with all that um, florally stamps. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. You can see I'm just adding in this time with the green, which is my larger image, and then some of the smaller ones. You can see also that I didn't tape it down this time and how that purple tape really did keep it intact the first time. So I would recommend that you, um, if you're gonna do this technique, that you tape it down and keep it in, in place. And just so same thing, I'm just repeating those same patterns that I used. In the other corner to the top corner, although I'm not making this corner quite as large, and you can see how I've just created that frame. And now I have a Wink of Stella glitter pen, and I'm just taking that and adding like a nice iris iridescent um, glittery bit to the pink flowers. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I will show you in the close-ups near the end. And then I'm going to add some more Doodlebug sprinkles. This time I have matte sprinkles, and that will finish off that card. So now my last card I want to create really, really simple. So I have a scrap piece of cardstock here and I'm going to block off most of the card and just create a bit of a border this time with these stamps. So I'm just going to take that same green leafy color, the spring leaf and this fun leaf design and I'm going to stamp that all along the edge of that uh, scrap piece of cardstock. I'm going to do the same thing, use a darker green and that leafy vine kind of stamp from Altenew and stamp it in amongst just to create a bit of a 
uh, layered there with the two different colors of green. And then I thought about adding a yellow kind of thin sprig flower, but I thought that's kind of almost a little too uh, light. So I wanted to add a little bit more pop of yellow, so I added that small swirl, I'm going to call it rosette, along that same edge. So you can see it just created like a nice little border with the snap. So really easy. I think this one's my favorite and so simple. So now I'm going to take all three cards and just add a little bit to them. Um, for this one here where I have the stamped, just the border, I'm going to need some embellishments. So I'm going to take those same stamps and just die, die cut a few, not die cut, fussy cut, sorry, a few. So I just stamped them onto some more white scrap of cardstock and I'm going to trim that out with my scissors and then just set those aside. And nothing fancy. I'm going really fast with these. I'm not being super particular. It's kind of a whimsical kind of flower, so I'm just kind of going with the flow of it. And so I'm going to set those aside, and then I'm going to take all my cards, and I want to add a little bit of stitching detail to all three of them. So along this border design, I'm just going to add two or three rows of stitching just along that border. And then on the pink card, I'm going to actually stitch around that frame that I created in the square, just to add like a tiny little bit of texture to that. So that's going to kind of complete that frame. And then on the yellow floral card, I'm just going to create a little bit of a stitch edge around that background stamped base. So that's it. That's just to get a little bit of cheap texture. And to be honest, the stitching really adheres everything well together. So if I didn't use a lot of adhesive throughout the process, it's because everything's going to stick really great with that stitching. So I'm going to finish off this last card here again with another one of those die cut um, sentiment frames by Gina K. I'm going to use that word hope and then I'm going to pick a sub sentiment that's also on this Concord and Nine stamp set. And I'm going to choose another one of those, the green color for this that sentiment. And then I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to pop that up onto the card front. So I'm just going to use some foam bot, dot, bot, dots here, not bots, and just pop that up on this. The, the card. What you can't tell is there's actually a turquoisey teal kind of smudge of ink that was on my um, work surface. So I'm just kind of trying to hide that with the those flowers that I uh, punched, or sorry, not punched, fussy cut out. And so I've done that and I've just used the smaller flower with some foam adhesive and then just a couple little enamel dot sprinkles from Doodlebug again that tie into that very first card that I made. So there are all three cards, all most ready to go. Actually, I just did decide last minute to add a little bit of a sub-sentiment to this pink card along the top. Um, I think it says where flowers bloom so does, and then that's where that hope ties in. So there you go. You have all three flowers. That first one was probably my favorite, I think, with that background pattern on the flat cardstock and then popped up again into the sentiment. Really simple, really easy, and you could make that um, over and over again and it would look just lovely. The second one, I do like that frame texture where you block off an area and then fill in um, using your stamps. Just think of how many stamps you have in your stash that you could create the same kind of pattern over and over again. Different stamps, different ideas, different looks, right? And then that final card with the stamped border, super easy, has a little bit of color but not overly a lot. Um, and just a really great way to tie all those things together. I really love mixing up the colors, this here with the green and the yellow and the blue, and all three stamps really go well together. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you next time on the block. Bye-bye.